What we getting into today? This 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 pod, we wanted to just come back to the beginning, right? Again, we love all our guests. We love I love sitting with people and just learning their story and digging around in the nuances of of how they've been living their life and um uh so you know you know the majority I, I would I would say the majority of the people right now that we have on they believe like we do. They love they love Jesus. Mm-hmm. Um but as we continue to grow, we're going to have people on the pod um, that just have good information to give us. They might not be uh, vocal about their faith. They might not even have a faith, mm-hmm. but they got something to teach us. I promise you they got something to teach us. And uh, if anybody feels a little skittish about that, then um, then I don't know how you're going to explain the writings of Paul who was going into Gentile territory and was literally quoting their philosophers from their cultural context and then bringing it back into a perspective of what it means to have faith in Jesus. So um, we will have guests on here uh, that love Jesus and we will have people in here that don't even know him at all, uh, but they might have something good to tell us and I want it because uh, – if you think the Bible is the only place you can get some information, you are sadly mistaken. It's the greatest place to get some information. It's just not the only place to get some information. So I hope, hope I just didn't didn't offend all the Bible freaks that don't read any other book. Someone's freaking out right now. Yeah, they're like, oh. <laughs> I love when you do that face. <laughs> the little cheeks are shaking. <laughs> they're like literally having a seizure right now. Okay. Anyway, um, so so we just we this one this one's just about us. Vibing, talking, stuff that's going on in culture, stuff that's going on in the mm-hmm. world, stuff that's going on in church. And, um, you know, we don't bash nobody. The, our parameters are we're not bashing nobody. Mm-hmm. If the shoe fit, fits, wear it, though. I've had a lot of people hear, like, clips we've put out, and they're like, who were you talking about in that clip? Not searching for the tea. Yeah. <laughs> They're they're trying to manufacture their own tea bags, fam. Like literally, they're like, it sounds like you might have been talking about this person in that clip. And I'm like, do you know how long I've been alive? Do you actually think there's only one person doing all this stuff? Mm-hmm. The spirit of perversion is global. So whatever I say, it could fit somebody's foot. Mm-hmm. But I'm not talking about nobody in particular. The 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 church my parents went to, the the lead pastor of that church tried to stick his tongue down my mom's throat while we were at his house eating dinner. He caught my mom in the next room and 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 said, Can you look at this real quick? And when she stooped down to look, he grabbed her by the face and tried to stick his tongue down down her throat with my daddy in the next room. So if you want to know how much stuff I know about how reckless church people can be, we got to go all the way back to the, to the point where I'm seven years old. <laughs> Y'all know who I'm talking about. But one thing that the basement does have a gift that I've been able to just see phenomenal feedback from our viewers is that we don't play whack-a-mole, but we do address things that have affected us personally. Yeah, absolutely. We'll talk about culture, but I... This isn't a place of bashing. No, I'm we not. don't put your face on a thumbnail. No. Gotcha. No, we 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 not gotcha people. If I got an issue with anybody, I'll get their number. I got an, I, I believe I have enough resources to get somebody's number. There's six degrees of separation. If I really got a beef with somebody and they've disturbed me so bad, I'll try to get their number, go talk to them myself. I'm not gonna talk to them on YouTube. Mm-hmm. It's the punk way out. Well, the, if I'm about to if I'm about to if I'm about to deal with you, I'm gonna holler at you face to face. I'm gonna look you in your eyeball mm-hmm. in person, not through no damn screen. Not <laughs> lately. We're just gonna we're just gonna say that word's gonna stay. I'm not apologize. I'm just just want everybody to know. I'm here for. I it. just put damn on the safe list. Safe place. Now uh, <laughs> that might be bad for business. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Subscriptions might go down. I've just noticed I've said it. I think I've said damn like, like this might be a third podcast. I've said damn. But I say damn, y'all. 
there it is. Sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. sorry, not sorry. Well, with the story that you just said about like the, the pastor and your mom, the thought that came to my mind was if corruption is this bold, <sighs> shouldn't the truth, shouldn't honesty be just as bold? <laughs> but yet everyone's going to get upset when you come at them from the real side. Yeah, dude. This dude stuck his tongue down my mom's throat with my dad and his wife, the, the, the pastor's wife, in the, din- in, in the dining room at the dinner table, man. My mom comes out in this, obviously I didn't know this till later. My mom comes out in this kind of frenzy. We're eating dinner and she's like, we have to go now. And my dad's like, what's the problem? She's like, we have to go now. She's on the verge of tears. His wife is there. And we get in the car. My dad's asking her 20 miles to our house. Why? What is the problem? And she, he won't, she won't say nothing because she saved that dude's life. Yeah. Just want you to know, nasty pastor, if you're still alive, which I don't, I don't think he is actually. I don't talk about the dead. But if he was alive, my dad saved your life. The reason why you got to die later in life, because my mama spared you mm-hmm. from my daddy murking you in your own house, because that's exactly what would have went down. And um, uh, they got home, and... My dad's now, you know, he's very upset. He's driven 20 miles. We have no idea why we had to leave. And we get to the house and my mom takes him into their bedroom. And she closes the door behind her and she stands in front of the door. My dad didn't go to church for two years. So, so I know everybody has a, I know everybody has a, a church story and I know a lot of people have been in churches that have been great and like, there's no issues. And I, I've, I've never heard the stuff that you've talked about. I didn't come from that church. I came from church that had good intentions and a lot of broken people and and a lot of hurt people, and those hurt people hurt other people, and those broken people broke other people. And um, I imagine I could have been one of them if it wasn't for the blood of the lamb in therapy. So when I speak out against certain things, I don't have a particular person in mind. And the reason why I don't is because it's happening in spaces and places that I know about and it's happening in spaces and places I don't know about. The same issues going on in America is going on in Brazil, is going on in Africa, is going on in Canada, is going on in the Caribbean, is going on in Australia, is going on in Asia. And so we're we're speaking to we're we're speaking to spiritual wickedness in high places. And these demonic principalities need people to come into agreement with ain't nobody out here just being puppeted around like i don't know i have no idea why i'm doing what i'm doing no this is you're not a scarecrow not a puppet (laughs) right satan is not geppetto he is give he is giving you suggestions though and if you take the suggestions guess who he blames you that's where all the guilt and condemnation and shame comes from. Like, look what you, look what you did. Mm-hmm. Satan has never in the history of ever said, look what I made you do. He puts you in a, in a situation, you take the bait, and then he goes straight to Jesus. Goes straight to God and goes, look. Look what your son did. Look what your daughter did. So, yeah, no, I'm turning all the lights on on everything. I don't care. I'm I'm here for all the smoke, so whatever. It's whatever out here, homie. Just so everybody knows. <laughs> it's whatever out here. And if you don't know what that means, Google it. <laughs> but it's whatever out here, homie. Okay, okay. I just needed to 
Just need to put that little disclaimer out there because, you know, people be assuming stuff.